How to reset the end and fight the dragon again. So here we are inside of Minecraft and we're at the end. And in this end world, the dragon has already been defeated once. You can tell because the portal is open for me to jump through. There is a dragon egg right there. And there is even one of these portals over here on the side. All you have to do is take an inter portal, throw that through that weird, uh, weird portal -ness. Then you'll be uh, teleported to the end islands, uh, the, the outward islands, the outlying islands, uh, where you could find an in city and get some elytra. Now, you may want to restart all of this to fight the dragon again. Maybe you need a ton of XP. Uh, maybe you need some dragon's breath that you forgot to pick up the first time you were fighting a dragon because you need some lingering potions. There's a whole bunch of different reasons why you might want to uh, fight a dragon a second time. Uh, specifically on on a server that I play on a lot, they uh, will give you shulkers and or um, elytra whenever you kill a, a dragon. This is sort of a customized thing. Uh, that's because there's just not enough in cities to go around on a big multiplayer server. So that would be a reason that you would want to uh, respawn the dragon. So that process is actually fairly simple. You're gonna need three different ingredients in order to respawn a dragon. That is glass, eyes of ender, and a tear gas. Specifically, you need 28 gas, four eyes of ender, and four tear ghasts. And that is because the seven pieces of glass will create sort of like that pants shape. The eye of ender will go in the middle and the tear ghast, or uh, the tear ghast, the ghast tear will go on the bottom and that creates an end crystal. Now, as an item, this does not look very impressive, but if you put this down on obsidian or onto bedrock, let's get some obsidian here, then it will create the uh, really, really cool looking uh, uh, portal uh, thing right here, these, uh, these end crystals. They look awesome. Uh, these are super duper cool. Um, I, the only reason I wouldn't suggest that you like make a few of these and throw them in your base is because if they get punched, uh, they explode. And uh, that could be, you know, not so good uh, if it's inside of a base. So once you make four in crystals, you need to make four, and that's why the recipe calls for uh, 28 glass, four eyes of ender, and four gassed tears. And so then you can create four of those and you have to place them here on this pedestal in each corner. So I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna use obsidian just to kind of demonstrate because this is a very uh, like complicated like structure thingy and sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell where you're placing them down. So I'm gonna use obsidian. You're gonna put one there. These are, this is just a placeholder, obviously. You're not actually gonna do this in your world. Uh, but there, there, and there. So you can see the middle of the row of three on each side of the pillar with this, uh, sorry, each side of the fountain with the pillar uh, being the center. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and place one there, place one there, there. And when we place this last one, we're gonna start a cool animation. And uh, you set down, so you get these crazy beams uh, that head into the sky. And then those beams will point at each and every one of the obsidian uh, obelisks here. And they will recreate the end crystals on each obelisk. By the way, if for whatever reason the obsidian, let me see if I can punch one of these really fast. Uh, uh, uh. See how the obsidian is broken and then it comes back. If the obsidian is broken for whatever reason that comes back, I had it. Holy moly, that was loud. Um, I have an other OMG craft about uh, how this is the best way to uh, to farm obsidian because you don't have to worry about lava and then you just respawn the dragon uh, whenever uh, you're, you're done harvesting that obsidian. But now the dragon is back. Word of warning is that the portal goes away. So if uh, you were hoping to, you know, spawn the dragon and then jump back through the portal, uh, you can't. So you won't be able to go home until the dragon is defeated once again. Now, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, grab this dragon and then punch that out of there. And then let's go ahead and kill this dragon real fast. There we go, okay. Minecraft, loud sounds, please stop! Okay. 
Holy moly. Okay, so that took a while, and really my only objective in destroying uh, the dragon was to show you that there is no extra dragon egg. You only get one egg per world, so uh, make sure that you keep that egg safe. And remember, if you have an egg on the ground and you punch it, it will like teleport away. There we go. So if you're in creative mode and you try to like punch it to like have it like, like you have a pig in your hand, you're like, oh, let me mine that up. Uh, it will teleport away. As I was saying, the easiest way to get one of these uh, is to use gravity to affect them because they will uh, fall just like an anvil will. So if you place a torch underneath them as they're falling, you can just uh, have that turn into an entity once it gets uh, to the bottom of that torch. That about wraps it up this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big ol' like. Make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. See you next time. Bye.